Hello everyone! The Alliance Seals with Jaina Proudmoore took Altiris with the quest of having them rejoin the Alliance. Events of the past, they make that a bit difficult, and Catherine Proudmoore, she tells her longtime friend Priscilla Ashvain to do with us what she wants. Jaina disappears, while we are thrown into Todagor, a prison complex now owned by the Ashvain company. Thankfully, we do have some friends in Altiris, for example, Cyrus Crestfall, once one of Dalen Proudmoore's most trusted knights and currently the Harbour Master. He has Flynn Fairwind and Talia break us out, and during our escape, we find a new form of gunpowder. Ashvane has been working hard at weaponizing Azerite, which might be the ticket to exposing all of her dirty deeds. We can do this. Alright, Flynn, what's this big lead of yours? Something about Ashvane having a new gunpowder? Hmm. <laughs> How is that a lead? They're making new weapons all the time. Not like this, they aren't. Emissary, mind giving our skeptical colleagues here a demonstration? What was that? Ashvane's dirty secret. And that was just a pinch. Imagine how much damage they could do with more of this stuff. For Kultim, I have another job for you. Help our new ally track down the source of this powder. You got it. Talia, prepare to make your rounds again. Tell the city guard to be on the lookout for unusual weapons being smuggled into Baralis. Isa. Ashvane is definitely up to something, and we need to find out what it is and gather proof to confront her. First step of the plan, that is a quick visit to the Ashvane foundry, where Priscilla is pushing her workers day and night. She up the security and even has children working for her. Faithful employees, effective immediately, all shifts are doubled. We do not ask this of you lightly. Your hard work ensures the safety of Coltiris in these uncertain times. Regarding increased company presence on site, rest assured, they are here for your safety. Given the rumors of foreign invaders and spies among us, we can never be too careful. Obey their instructions to avoid any unseemly incidents. Kindly direct inquiries to Mr. Farthing or Mr. Williams. Suffer no insolence from the soot-smeared rabble. Make examples if you must. All that matters is that our clients get their supplies on time. I don't care how you do it. I want those forges running day and night. The chemists are producing excellent powder. You will keep them supplied with refined azurite, or I'll find someone who can. Weapons are scattered across the compound, each and every one of them infused with powerful azurite, but they were smart enough to not put the destination on the crates. We know that it is not being shipped through Cackney's Ferry, so they must be passing through Bridgeport. A garrison of Proudmoor Mariners, they protect the port. Ashvane has a whole lot of nerve moving illegal weapons right under their noses. Let's check out what we can find. Cagney, get these kids on a ferry back to town. Talia will make sure they get placed into a shelter. Mate, I'll see you up ahead. At Bridgeport, we see the Ashvane company hard at work, and a chemist notes, it tells us that they've been able to find a suitable base and produced a stable compound. In this state, Azerite can be stored, transported, or even introduced into the mixing process to infuse a terribly potent black powder. They're so confident in its stability that initial samples were sent to Borellis suspended inside a necklace. Now a lot of you, when Priscilla made her appearance, you asked if she too has a heart of Azeroth around her neck, but nope, that is just the sample that they sent over. They're not done yet either. New applications are worked on, with the most promising one so far being a pistol, which will also make a suitable gift for Priscilla. After picking up the notes and a raw Azerite sample, Flynn thinks that he found our next lead. The ship in the docks is one that he is very familiar with. Let's just say that he and the captain, they have a little bit of history with each other, as it's well-known smuggling vessel. He'd bet his coat that that is where our legal weapons are kept, and he loves his coat. See I'll follow around. your lead. Remember, the key to going anywhere you don't belong is just to walk in like you own the place. Good morning, sir. Timetables change, boys. Get your grogs to go. Quick, hide. 
Oh no, Ooh, I think my I call the empty in it. You can have the other one. Nope, never mind. It's ale. We're good. Clients want the stuff right now. We're shoving off. Steady as she goes, helmsman. Wait. Do you hear that? Pretty. Helmsman, steer us away. No, you idiot! The other away! Many poor sailors have fallen to the siren's call as we end up at the Whaling Tideway. Folks, from at least four or five shipwrecks, they made camp at castaway points, banded together just to survive here. All kinds of different races, they found a way to this location. And maybe someone should actually tell them that they have a flight master that could potentially get them out of there. Flynn is missing, and while we search for our partner in crime, we also help out the camp with gathering some food, we take out some of the most powerful of the sirens, we aid Captain Kielsen with getting her revenge, and we even gather some keepsakes to lift up their spirits. Hungry Sam has lost his trusty lunchbox, Friendly Pete has lost his compass, and Handy Bill, he's lost his toy robot. Stabby Jane would be ever so grateful if we could get them back for them, and she herself is missing, you know, a locket. But never mind that, it's, it's way too small and we'd never find it. It's nothing, don't you worry about it. But we do find a locket, it contains a hand-drawn picture of a woman with fiery red bangs. Her arm is around a woman with short cropped auburn hair, and the two are proudly displaying warm smiles for the artist. Tears begin to well up in her eyes as she tenderly opens the locket. They all lost something when they crashed here. Some of them more than others, but at least this loving memory, it has found a way back to her. Another matter of love needs to be dealt with, as our buddy Flynn, he has no chance against the Sidon's call. So we have no choice but to confront the love of his life and put the creature down. You! You killed the love of my life! How could you? Heartbroken, he runs off. How could we? But the man, he'll be alright. At least he knows where we are now and where the ship was heading. We were going to Freehold. Ugh, still a bit foggy. Just need a little drink to clear my head. Ugh, that hits the spot. <sighs> Let's get moving. <laughs> now, which way was it? Left? No, no, it was definitely right. Watch yourself. There's some nasty critters out here. Ah, we're getting close. I can feel it. <laughs> hey, lizard. Aha! This looks familiar. We <clears throat> must be going the right way. Take the way in your You're done your side job, are you? Can we get a little <clears throat> professionalism here? Hmm. We went right last time. So it must be left. I think my head's finally clearing up. Here we are. Freehold. This is a rough town. Just, uh, let me do the talking. Freehold is a free people's port. Unlike Boralus, it has no rules or regulations about what vessels are allowed to dock. Privateers, mercenaries, even pirates are welcome. Naturally, it's a colorful town. I've never seen it this busy before. Something big must be going down. I bet my boots will find more Ashvane weapons at the docks. We need to learn who's buying them. 
all this legwork that we've been doing. It would be for nothing if we can't show Catherine Harproof linking the Ashvane company to the freebooters here in Freehold. Ashvane might have been careful enough to encrypt their books, but Flynn doubts that the Dark Master here that he has any reason to be so secretive. We find the Duckmaster's records, detailed accounts of shipments received from the Ashvane company. This is hard, solid proof that Priscilla is up to no good. She's been selling weapons to the pirates, which is high treason. But where Freehold was once upon a time a free town, now it's under control of the Irontine Raiders with their leader Harlan Sweet. They're busy locking the place down and turning away anyone who isn't part of the crew. Fortunately enough, they're also hiring. Put the hat on! You can't be a scurvy sea dog without a hat. Looking good. Let's tell the recruiter we've come to volunteer. Hmm. Well, ye did bring your own hats. All right, get in there and report for orientation. <laughs> hazing. He means hazing. Don't worry, we're skipping that part. I know a place we can hide out while we gather information. Ahem. <clears throat> of arse, ye bloated barnacle! We've come for your booty! I told you I'm tied, punks, to... Wait a minute. Flynn? I thought you were dead! Oh, don't tell me you're actually working for those bootlickers. It's, a uh, kind of a long story. How about a drink? What there you, you go. <sighs> now... A toast to better days. Ah, that hits the spot. Say, Flynn, whatever happened to that woman you were always talking about? You know, the one with hair like ravens down? <laughs> uh, um, uh, not now, Venric. We're here on serious business. Our buddy Flynn. He has a thing for Talia, it seems. But no time for that now, as we need to get the information we gathered back to Talia and Cyrus. A messenger bird flies out. But it's clear that the Iron Tide Raiders, they're bringing the various outlaw crews together for a very big job, using the weapons provided by the Ashvane company. While Flynn hides and lays low, we check around town to see what is going on. And it turns out that the Bale Treads, the Cutwater Corsairs, and the Black Tooth Brawlers, all of them have been brought under the sails of the Iron Tide Raiders. There's actually a lot of history between Flynn and Harlan Sweet, as once upon a time, Flynn used to captain his own crew, with Harlan being his first mate. That all changed when the two of them had a falling out after a messy job, and Flynn, he lost all taste for freebooting. One day, he just disappeared, leaving Harlan to gather the nastiest of their crew, and they formed the Irontide Raiders. With Ashvane backing him up, he is now taking control of Freehold, having all kinds of rats reporting back to him, reporting that Flynn is actually in town, and they take him for a special audience to the Ring of Booty. That's it, boys! Work him over good! Things have changed. Here's a watery grave I'm for you. I'm the captain now. And once the proud moors are out of the way, we'll be free to plunder all of Kul Tiras. <laughs> uh, uh, run! Oh, 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 our newest recruit has arrived. This'll be fun. What's the word? Hmm... What to do with a couple of mutinous rats? Why don't we let the dice decide? Ooh, bad luck for you. <laughs> Carve him up. You're fine. Another round. What? No, no, no. That's all wrong. That's better. Did I mention I don't play fair? <laughs> ah, these dice are cursed. Just get in there. Enough. You're too late anyway. Our attack on Dalen's gate has already begun. The Proud Moors are done for! And when Lady Ashvane takes the throne, I'll command her fleet! Ten thousand gold to whoever brings me their heads! Flynn! Hold on!
What? That's not fair! That's not fair! Dahlia to the rescue, but our problems, they're far from over. Dalian's Gate has protected the Sovereign Channel for decades. If it's going to fall, the pirate fleet can sail straight into Tiragard Sound, so we must hurry and help the marines at Vigil Hill. Uh, 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 Flynn! It's okay, I've got you! Are you alright? Where does it hurt? Oh, everywhere! <laughs> Harlan! The bastard sold out to Ashvane! He's- ah, uh, ah. Uh. We know. Just rest. He'll get what's coming to him. First, we have to hold that gate. Oh no! We're too late! The gate stood no chance against Azerite and has already fallen. But cult Hirons, they don't just roll over and give up. We rally the militia. We take care of the pirates' air support. We help out the people at Vigil Hill wherever we can. Meanwhile, a medic looks after Flynn while we go and do the hero thing. It's time to strike back at the pirates. Hang in there, Flynn. Just don't die. I will see justice delivered. First to these pirates, and then to the Ashvane Company. Such devastation. Dalian's gate never stood a chance. If Azerite is capable of this kind of destruction, I fear not even the Grey Gate of Boralus could withstand it. Time to fight fire with fire. Let's search one of their ships for some of those Azerite bombs. These'll do nicely. Let's get clear of the ship and give them a try. Now, let them have it! We'll need a boat to reach the next ship. Ready? Throw! Ah! Maybe that was too close. We should hit the next one from the air. Are you with me? Aim for their powder barrels. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, you bilge suckers! Look! They're withdrawing! We did it! We actually did it! Still, they could be back. And if they bring those guns to bear on Boralus... I'll tell the Lieutenant what's happened. Meet me in Vigil Hill when you're done here. Their attack has been repelled for now, but Catherine, she must be warned about Priscilla, and that's not going to be easy. They've been close friends for years, even before they lost their husbands at Fedamore. I don't understand. Why would Lady Ashvane hire pirates to attack Dalin's Gate? Was it simply a test of her new weapons? Or something more? Wait, what's going on down there? This can't be good. Looks like we arrived just in time. And while Talia would have preferred to do this in private, we're simply out of options. Best to bring some guards with us if we're going to make a scene. Time to confront Priscilla with what she has done. The rumors are true. Dalin's gate has fallen. A pirate fleet struck the gate with overwhelming force. Pirates? The Prey Wars can't even protect us from pirates anymore! For shame! Catherine Proudmore has spent her life doing what's best for Kul Tiras. But it has not been enough. My dear friend Priscilla and I have discussed this. I believe that what is best for Kul Tiras is that I step down as Lord Admiral. I will shoulder this heavy burden. I can only hope I will be a worthy successor. Lady Ashvane has been my rock since those first dark days when we both lost our husbands. Now she will be the kingdom's rock. Now she is a liar! 
So, this was your play all along. Despicable. What is the meaning of this girl? Lady Priscilla Ashvane, you are under arrest for trafficking, conspiring with pirates, and high treason against the Admiralty of Kul Tiras. And we have evidence. Your company made the weapons that destroyed Dalin's Gate using this. It's called Azerite, and the Alliance and Horde are already at war over it. You hired the pirate fleet, armed them to the teeth, and set them upon your own countrymen. And I almost... Priscilla, how could you betray the kingdom? How could you betray me? You're too weak to rule, Catherine. Your family has always been too weak. The proud more legacy of failure dies with you! Priscilla is clever, and she had a backup plan ready. Her goons, they set off some kind of smoke screen to cover her escape. We clear out the smoke so that the civilians can evacuate, and we clear out the traitors in the area. Priscilla's escaping on horseback. Grab one of our chargers and chase her down. Your little stunt meant nothing. I own this city! Take this! Out of the way, chump for brains! Fresh cabbages! My cabbages! It's over. There's nowhere left to run. Insolent brat! This is far from over. Wait, no! You three. Get a search party down there and find her! Hero, let's return to Catherine. Lord Admiral, perhaps we should get you back to the keep. I can review the evidence against House Ashvane with you there. Certainly. And your name is? Talia, Mum. Talia, of course. Our young ward from across the sea. Has it already been so long? You've grown into a valiant young woman, Talia. Your father would be proud. Priscilla Ashvane is still out there somewhere, as well as Harlan Sweet and his Identite Raiders. But at least we've been able to prevent Catherine from handing over Kul Tiras, and she is now willing to parlay with our leaders. We still have a long road ahead of us if we want to unite the houses of Kul Tiras, but that is a tale for another day. From this point, we can go either into Drasvar or Stormsong Valley. By all means, let me know in the comments down below which one you'd like to see first. As always, thank you very much for watching everyone, subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time guys, see ya!